Hello and welcome to the Langothlan Canal in North Wales. It's a beautiful canal running through lovely countryside, very rural and tranquil, just the way I like it. When I sold my boat almost a year ago now, I received many kind offers from other boaters to join them when I wanted to cruise the canals again. One of those offers came from a lady called Heidi, who has a pirate boat. There are subtle clues if you look closely as to which boat is hers. Chilling sights, surely calculated to put fear into the hearts of other boaters. Or more likely, once you get to know her, rum into your stomach. In this, the first of two videos from my day, we'll meet Heidi, do a tour of her boat and hear why she loves the canal life. Then in part two, we'll go for a cruise. It's fair to say that, along with a fair quantity of rum, the canals are in Heidi's blood. I was born and bred in Acton Bridge and there's a canal there, the Trenton Mersey Canal runs through it. Also, I used to play down on the River Weaver. In fact, I used to swim in the River Weaver. And I always loved looking at the boats. And I always dreamed of it, but thought no, nothing of it. And then when I came back from travelling after giving my job up, I decided I'm going to buy a boat. And, and I did. And here we are. I absolutely adore it. It's, it's just the freedom and the people you meet. For me, it's all about the community and those wonderful people and the adventures that I have. Absolutely adore it. I spent my winter on the Langothan Canal and I've absolutely loved it. Because we were all stuck in sort of a short range of about 30 miles, we got to know all the other boaters and we've all been helping each other out, cooking for each other, going to the pub. Yeah, it's just been an absolutely lovely sense of community. And I've just, yeah, loved it. And I've met some brilliant people and made some lifelong friends this winter. I really have. But I love the fact that I've always got something to do. Yeah, I love the activity of it. It forces me out into the nature, into the outdoors. Yeah, I would, I'd be bored if I was just cruising, but I love getting off to do locks. I love getting off to do the lift bridges. That's part of why I wanted to get a boat. It was the whole outdoors and the outdoor living. The only thing I don't like is if it's raining too hard because the rain goes into my boat and then I, get, I have to mop my bulges out and get some nappies down. And if it's really cold, <laughs> but I always have a put me, a put me uh, good clothes on and me, me nipple warmer and, and I'm all right. Yeah, so it's having the right clothing, the right clothing and everything's fine. Let's have a look around this 57 foot narrowboat then. Entering from the back where there's a traditional boatman's cabin, once where whole families would have lived in the days when these were cargo carrying boats. There's a stove to cook on and keep warm, a single bed slash couch along the side, and cupboards on the other, part of which drop down to make a double bed across the width of the boat. Having travelled the world extensively, especially in Africa, Heidi's decorated the interior with many mementos of her exploits. Moving ahead, we find the power behind the boat in the dedicated engine room. She has a 1969 Lister HR2 inside her. Yeah, the heart of the boat. Yeah, and it's got an old uh, mechanical gearbox. It's a Blackstone Lister gearbox. So it's not hydraulic like most people's gearboxes. So I have a piece of string that I have to twist to give it some welly, yeah. <laughs> and then I've also got my gears. I have a big thruster that I have to push into forwards, neutral and reverse. So she doesn't go easy from one to the other. I'll be gentle with her. Elsewhere in the engine room, we find the electrical setup, which includes an unusual lithium slash AGM hybrid battery system. A walkthrough bathroom is next in line, and if you think I'm mislabeling it a bathroom, think again, because there really is a bathtub, albeit a small one, with a shower over. Plus, of course, a sink, toilet and storage. We move forward into a large galley with units either side of the corridor. It's all mod cons here, with a full-size washing machine, a coffee maker, and both a fridge and separate freezer, as Heidi sells ice creams from the boat in summer. There's plenty of countertop space for food preparation, and at the end is a water heater, so you never run out. 
Hatches on either side of the boat let light flood in and also enable the aforementioned selling of ice creams to passers-by on the towpath, no matter which way the boat is moored. There are also hatches overhead to let in even more light. The final room is the saloon or living room, made comfy with a sofa bed adorned with plenty of cushions and, you notice, storage underneath. The large stove keeps the boat incredibly toasty and has plenty of space for keeping the kettle warm. All around are dotted more memorabilia from Heidi's life. This rather sweet little guest chair sits opposite Heidi's workspace, where she edits her YouTube videos and composes music for them. With portholes for windows, you might think the boat would be dark, but all of the hatches and a lot of white paint make this a very cosy, bright place indeed. You're separated from the final space at the bow by a set of stable doors and some curtains, which lead out onto what used to be an open tug deck, but is now an extra room after Heidi had sloping metal sides welded on. It's out here she stores some of her merchandise. I trade as the pirate boat, which means I sell lots of nautical gifts and ice creams. When I first started trading in 2015, there wasn't really any boats doing anything much for kids. And I took my niece to a little festival and she was really bored. And I don't mean that in a negative way, I just thought, oh, there needs to be something for kids, something a little bit fun. And that's why I started up the pirate boat. So I sell things like brass compasses, pirate hats, captain's hats, inflatable swords, little treasure maps, treasure chests, signs that say, beware, keep out pirates, the beatings will continue to morale improves. All sorts of like fun piratey stuff. Kids absolutely love it. A lot of the adults love it as well. Um, some people say, oh, pirates never existed on the canals, and I just go, well, they do now! <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, overall, a very good response. People like a bit of fun. It's keeping it all light-hearted and having a little bit of fun. In the next video, we cast off the chains and take the boat along the Langothlan in sadly somewhat dreary weather. Join us, won't you?